Uh, so we're going we're gonna to look at techniques specifically that collapse elbows and fold zones. Okay. Gary's been a beast. Oh, he's Robbie. Remember are you, Robbie? <laughs> so we'll start with the first technique. There are, some of you may not have the technique church salute. Some of you may. Okay. Uh, the first technique in the system that collapses elbows is massive aggression. Okay. So as he does a two-handed pull grab and pulls, we drop and collapse. And this collapse brings him in. So this is a perfect example of just collapsing the zones forward and into the strike. No different than if I punched, except that we're doing it through the use of inclined planes, levers, and frictional pull, okay? So what we don't want to do though is from here, we don't want to hammer this and collapse this because that creates an unexpected and uncontrolled reaction, okay? Un not unexpected, but uncontrolled. It means that when I do this, I don't know how fast his head, his body is gonna jerk forward and maybe headbutt me in the face. But when I do this, I control that, the angle, the speed, and the distance that he travels at before he runs into that elbow. Sorry about that. Okay? So we just want to play with, stretch him out, and use the frictional pull to collapse. Now remember that for some of you stronger people, yes, we're just doing a technique and the sympathetic response isn't going to be the same. You get somebody that's got a stiff grab, remind them that this will hurt when you punch <laughs> them in the face. That usually lets go of the grip, softens these arms up a little bit, then pull elbow, elbow through the technique, cover up. Okay? So one or two times in the mirror, we work this, we trap, come in, and this is a punch to the facial vein or facial nerve. Okay, and then we're just gonna pull this in downward diagonal. This is on number seven plane for those of you who study the pattern. Okay, boom, and then it circles, it continues into this. So it ellipses, strikes, elbow, elbow, however you want to do it, and then cover up. Okay, go ahead, grab a partner, take a win, and move on. Quick note on this technique since you're up here. Okay, <clears throat> when we're doing this, Mr. Avia was asking an interesting question. So when we're doing this and we're pulling this in, what if he tries to headbutt you? Well, that's the point at which you increase the speed of the elbow. You decrease the size of the circle, accelerate the motion, and increase the speed of the elbow, which in turn does what? Increases the speed of the strike. Boom, he runs into that elbow just a lot faster than he ever thought he was going to, okay? No problem, just change the speed of your motion by changing the size of the motion that you use, the size of the circle. Pull, strike, and then through, okay? Go ahead. Okay, good, great. Just because I don't have a lot of time and I got a lot of techniques in my head. Um, Robbie, can I borrow you, please? So, uh, first off, I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that that has a certain amount of leverage involved with the trap. We're using a class two lever, boom here. When we move this, does anybody know off the top of the head what class of lever this is? Here's the fulcrum, the effort, and the load. That's the third class lever. Okay, so anyway, we do that. Boom, we strike here. This has to be a continuous circular motion from here. If we stop, we get struck. And then we have to strike with half a thought. Okay? So moving forward into the next technique, trigger salute, which is for a push. Okay, remember my my theme here was collapsing elbows and controlling or manipulating zones, height, depth, and width zones. Okay? From here, same, same idea, look at that, his head's back. Boom, and then we pull that elbow forward. It's the same thing. Now we're moving to a lower plane. We're using a different plane here. Same plane here, different weapon, one hand. Let's say we set it up. He pushes and he punches, not today. Boom, one, he punches again, not today, two. Okay? Then we strike with the same elbow that we used in the first technique. Okay? So we can say that these techniques are related. Thank you. Let's try it in the mirror once or twice for those of you who don't have this technique. Okay? So we trap, we stretch. Holy cow, this is kind of the same thing we did earlier, isn't it? Okay? Then we hook and pull. Notice my hips rotating a little bit. Because it's just not fun if you can't hit them with everything you've got. Okay? Now I pull this across diagonally on a number five plane. Boom. Then swing this, swing that, do the rest of the technique that you have and get out of it. Okay? Go ahead, let's work. 
Another interesting question for Mr. Obvious. Yeah, Leads me to an interesting answer. Yeah. Okay. So timing. We can change timing a couple different ways. We can either speed up or we can slow down, or we can change the line of the circles that we travel on. Okay? We can change the length of the line, the, le the size of the circle, or we can manipulate it from one line to an elliptical shape. In triggered salute, okay, we can stop, he pushes, we can stop, we can go with a straight line stop and then straight line back. Or, as we come in, we can circle in back into this. Boom, and then we turn. And that feeds the rotation and feeds the cancellation on the hips, right? So now if you look at his body, what we're doing is we're canceling, we're, we're doing something I call zone folding stereo, okay? I'm bringing this shoulder across to the hip. When I do that, when I do that, this, this, and this all disappear. Yes, they do. Okay? <laughs> so we need to do that, though, in a shorter span of time, not necessarily faster, although the two are synonymous, but we can do that through the use of circular or elliptical motion. Yes, it's true that this is a straight line, but at the end of that straight line, we can create the circle so we then blended the circles and the lines in. Okay? Sure. So try that. Make a line in the circle. Is it actually the fifth person to use him? What? <laughs> okay, great. Oh, no. Great, great, great. Okay, so not unlike, not unlike Mesa Aggression, where we have the third class lever, where we create, we have this, the trap here, this is the fulcrum, this is the effort, and he's the load. Trigger Salute uses the same thing. So, if you disconnect this arm, you lose your fulcrum. You now have to create it. It now has to, you have to have a fulcrum floating around in space. Fulcrums in space don't do well because they're not attached to anything, and they got nothing to work against. Okay? Mr. Hatfield, how about that? So, we need to maintain this fulcrum. We need to attach this to something solid. That happens to be, in this case, me. Okay? So when I move here, and I pull this, even without this hand, boom, I have that fulcrum, I have that lever, okay? This is the fulcrum. So when I come into this, I can't detach this. I can, but now I have to go to something else, okay? Because that just took away my fulcrum. Boom, strike, elbow, elbow, back, thrust, cross, and I'm wrapped it all. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Keep that fulcrum. Keep it trapped. Okay. So, so moving into the next technique. Uh, so we had base of aggression, trigger, salute. Ultimately, they were kind of the same thing. We go back and say, yeah, okay, those are in the same family grouping. <clears throat> I don't care how you relate them second cousins, kissing cousins, or whatever, okay? Uh, let's move to the next technique, glancing salute. Just, I'm just picking techniques randomly that fold the elbow. Remember that I was folding the elbow and controlling zones. So as he does come through this cross shoulder push, same idea, basically, is triggered suit. I'm going to do a force, I trap, and I strike. I hyperextend, hold this one. Hyperextend the elbow. If I continue too far, I lose my technique because I drive my opponent to the ground face first, and well, well, that might be great in the street for practice, it's not so good. Okay, so I come in, as he pushes, I, I go path of least resistance, I catch the break. As he starts to lean forward, now this is where we collapse the elbow and control the zones. I hook that, and as I hook that and rotate the shoulders, just, or excuse me, the shoulder, my lower shoulders, the hips, okay? <laughs> as I rotate the, the hips, lead into the shoulders, and I pull his face into this extending heel palm. Now again, notice that we have the fulcrum right here. And I have that trap, and I need that trap. I rotate, bend the elbow, claw, hook, knee, push, and cover out. Okay, sir? Let's try it one or two times in the mirror for those of you who don't have it. All right, break. All right, so. In collapsing, controlling, manipulations, there are levers, leverage, planes of action, and all that good stuff that I was talking about. When you're employing any type of control, pay attention to what's attached, what's not attached, what's moving, and what's not moving. Okay, where the effort, where the load is. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>